Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. We continue with our uh, training series where we uh, prepare you for the Elastic Certified Observability Engineer exam. Um, today we will discuss the, this topic which is uh, use the uptime app or application in Kibana to monitor the uptime and uh, availability uh, of a uh, service. So, um, after do the installation and the configuration of Elastic Kibana, like and also the installation and configuration of Earthbeat. Now and after that we did the configuration of the monitor, which is HTTP, TCP, and ECMP. Now how we use the uh, uptime app in Kibana for work or uh, for answering question and scenarios during the exam. Here we go. So you go to observability. And you scroll down, you go to uh, to uptime. Here you will have all the uh, monitors that you have, right? This is the name, the URL, the ID, and the status. Okay. Now we have a few things that we can see here. Okay. Uh, maybe you will have multiple scenarios or multiple monitors, but you you want. Uh, to filter only on the monitors that are based in US or based like monitoring the services that's based only in US, right? So we have this uh, this location. So if the scenario or, or like you want to check like just this um, uh, location, you can come here and we and you configure the uh, the location or you add the filter for the location. So we did we we don't have any locations here, but if you go. Uh, here to the uh, uh, to the to the services, you will be able to uh, um, to add uh, or to see the uh, the location. So this is the first thing. Here we have the port. So we have you have multiple services running on different ports, but you want just one. Like here, nine nine ninety two zero zero, which is Elasticsearch. If you click and apply, it will apply this filter, and it will show you only. The monitor that use this um, uh, this this port. Uh, the same uh, for this one, like for the type of the monitor. So we have one monitor for uh, TCP, two for ECMP, and one for HTTP. So you choose one, you apply, or you choose you can choose multiple, and you apply, and you will be as as an example here. You will see only the uh, the monitor TCP. If you have one, you will see one. If you have two, three, four whatever the number of the uh, this type of monitor you will be able to find it here uh, the tags as well so uh, you let's say you add uh, you have tag like to separate a certain type of uh, monitor from the others let's say you have multiple uh, multiple uh, TCP monitors and all of them let's say are based on US how to separate like production from dev from like you can add uh, you can add a tag and do so if you click here you see tag here is link for documentation how you can add uh, add a tag to be able to use it here like to um, uh, to filter your uh, your monitors here uh, here the same we have another uh, or here also it's the same as discover the same as everywhere like a dashboard visualization you can run uh, your query even as you can see here even using the text or using a kql here is a uh, link for documentation to see how to write a kql uh, this quick links uh, helps a lot uh, especially during the uh, the exam don't forget that you will be able to have access to the official documentation so you can you can refer to the documentation directly from here or you go to the uh, to the documentation and search for whatever you want to search so if, if i just uh, type http for example as text here it returns just the uh, the type of the monitors that are http and so on and so forth so i, I will uh, refresh so here also um, by default it will show all the uh, monitors whatever is up uh, or down so if you click here on up here it will show you just the up if you click here on down as you can see currently we don't have any uh, service uh, like uh, down but you click here and it will it will show you like if you have a service down it will show you uh, a service if it is down or up right um, the other thing like if we uh, click here on this arrow you will have some um, details about 
uh, about the uh, uh, the monitor as you, you see here this is the URL and uh, this is some details about like the most recent tests when exactly it happened example here uh, here we don't have uh, a location but if you want to um, to add the location you can click they maybe you will get this uh, kind of question they will ask you to add uh, a location or to to your um, a monitor um, this is uh, something that we're gonna see um, later in the training uh, we will see how we can enable the detection uh, rules or the rules for uh, for uh, for each type of monitor or for all the monitors here uh, this is also something interesting let's say you have like it's done and you want to do more investigation about uh, the problem that happened so here you have shortcuts or you have links to different um, uh, resources here for example if you are using APM or application performance monitoring we will see it later uh, data so you can click and you go you have more details about the issue or why the service is down uh, here it's like the metrics of the uh, of the host like let's say um, you will see the CPU usage you will see the, uh, the disk usage you will see <coughs> some information that will probably help you to uh, solve the uh, the issue and understand the uh, the problem again you have other things that uh, may help also like to go to the logs and to see or to uh, to do your investigation right um, now if you click on the link it will redirect you to a more detailed page about the uh, about the uh, the monitor itself uh, we already saw the uh, overall availability like here uh, for the for the last 24 hour this is the percentage this is the URL which is which is Kibana itself so if you click it will redirect you to Kibana itself and this is the ID and the type tag we said we don't we don't have any tags right and here uh, here you have the uh, monitor duration and the uh, this this one you can see it here is the same information so here <coughs> as you can see here sometimes it's take uh, uh, 59 this 12 so you have uh, uh, you have draw here like for the uh, for the uh, duration of the of the monitor itself here uh, it's so it show as you can see here uh, with two colors so when it's down when it's up and this is the uh, the values uh, the same you can choose the uh, the timeline or you can just select here to um, to filter like or to uh, choose the right um, what time zone or the time uh, range that you want to see uh, what happened exactly here if you have an if you have an an, an, an issue sorry you will have the details here or you can click and you will see all the details here and it will um, give you a, let's say a hint or it will give you uh, something like, let's say like this it said this is not reachable uh, there is no connection and the reason here for us it's uh, obvious since we don't have service line on 5602 port and this is the um, uh, this is the details so this this is all the details that will help you so this is one thing like um, uh, just to see and we will see uh, in the future how we uh, enable the anomaly detection and also how we create uh, an alert to monitor our uh, services here and the same like if you click on each type of uh, service you will have the same details here the name and here is the, uh, the details since here is up and running we have nothing but if it is down you will be able to see uh, the error and uh, some details or uh, hints about uh, about the uh, the services as well with that being said let me know if you have uh, any uh, question in the comment section and we'll uh, see you in the next video